All right. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This week has been rough. This has been a rough week for me. Things have not been really going my way with anything, especially with college. College for me, college has been giving me a lot of trouble recently. I'm not gonna get into detail, but yeah, just things have not been going well. And um, things to myself as well have not been going well. Yeah, I've been letting myself down for a lot of the time. But today is Friday. I got back from college about two hours ago. It was my grandma's birthday, so I went over there after college, um, celebrated with her, you know, saw my family. It was quite nice. So I've just got back from that, and it's around six o'clock. College was slow and miserable as always. But um, yeah, it's Friday, so we're going to the gym in about an hour. Not much planned for today. I'm probably just gonna go over there and train for a bit and work on my technique, endurance, and you know, all that stuff. I have actually been working on something that I do wanna show you guys. Um, so this is, it's a boxing glove. I've been working on this, you know, this brand for quite a while. This is the first actual one I've got. The quality is really, really nice. Um, it came out exactly how I wanted it to look. It's called Dexterity. I'm not announcing some, you know, drop yet because I'm still in the middle of, you know, trying to figure out how to run the store and, you know, do all of that. Yeah, it's something I've been working on um, for quite a while and I'm very happy with how it came out. It's a bag glove. I'm going to do more than just bag gloves, hopefully 8 to 12 ounces. And I kind of was thinking of doing gum shields as well and maybe wraps, but that's stuff to think about for the future for now this is all i've got this is the only one this is a this is a 100 percent exclusive no one in the world has this glove which i think is pretty cool because i've never you know had an idea and actually brought it to life and this is the first time i really have done it so i'm still working on the store but hopefully soon i'll be able to drop them and you know all that stuff but for now yeah i just wanted to show you guys that how it looks but yeah i just thought i would show you guys that because i've been working on it for quite a while if you could drop some opinions about it in the comments or you know anything like that you know but yeah also i wanted to talk about my fight um because that's coming up soon next weekend actually i've been working on my defense mostly these past couple three weeks i've been mainly working on my defense and it has actually improved a lot because i'm a very usually aggressive fighter i'm always you know on the offense whenever i get pressed my defense is always not being good and i'd be watching people fight and they'd be really techy with their heads and you know know where to put their heads and how to defend it and i would always wonder how do they do it and so i've been working on that you know most of the time in sparring i've just been saying to my sparring opponent just just try and hit me and it actually has been working it's a really good way of working on defense is just to get punch loads and try and defend it because you learn how to move around it and you learn how to anticipate punches which has been good for me because my defense has always been terrible it's always been terrible for as long as i can remember i have not been able to defend punches and recently it's been coming along nicely my head movement and my foot placement has been really nice so I was looking back at some old videos the other day and I, I was thinking how cool it is that you guys have really watched me from when I am when I first started. I'm looking at my video like, dang, this is trash. And that wasn't when I first started boxing. I've been boxing for a very long time, but not taking it that seriously. When I first started posting content, that was me about a year in taking it seriously. Right? And then after that, I put everything, everything I have into this sport. I said, you know what? This is exactly what I want to do. And ever since I've put done that, I have improved at an insane speed rate. And I'm talking like, I've improved so fast because it's all I've been doing, it's all I've been thinking about. So I've thought, and I've just thought, like, it's so cool that watching my first video and my most recent ones, the difference in my skill. I, I can't wait to show you guys my fight and you know how I actually fight because no one has seen me fight yet. Which is going to be cool. Hopefully I'll get it filmed on this camera because I've been working on a lot of things. And I fight a lot differently than I hit the bag, which I'm sure everyone does. I think I'm going to cut now. I'll see you guys when I leave to go to the gym. Yeah, I have another cold plunge to do after the gym because I got up too late today. Like an idiot. Yeah, we're going to go to the gym. We're going to train. We're going to come home. We're going to cold plunge. And um, that'll be it, I think. So, yeah. I'm gonna cut and uh, I will see you guys at the gym. It is really getting cold now. Uh, this weather, it's January, isn't it? 
it's always that January cold, you know, winter always good until January hits. Then the weather gets really cold. It actually snowed down here, um, like two days ago. And we don't, like, we never get snow. We haven't had snow since, what was it, 2019? That's actually the last time we had snow. That's how cold it is down here. It snowed for like an hour, <laughs> and then it stopped, but, hey, a win is a win. Got a comment on my last video. Someone saying they want to make content, but they're scared to do it because they don't want to get made fun of. Now, the only reason I'm saying this is because I saw this comment and I had never related to a comment so hard. I was reading it like, bro, this guy sounds like me. Like, just how I sounded before I started to like, make content, especially this kind of content. Because before, I've always wanted to do content like this, right? I've always wanted to document my boxing journey and, you know, take you guys along with me. But I was always scared about talking to a camera because I'd feel like, you know, people will watch this and, be like, and make fun of me and judge. And it wasn't until I just did it, right? You just do it that you think no one actually cares. And if people do care, so what? Like, I don't understand why you would limit yourself on other people's opinions. Like, if you want to do something, just do it. Because otherwise you're never going to know where it could end up. And that's a big thing with me, like, me wanting to do this kind of stuff, I would always just be limiting myself because I don't want to, what, get made fun of? I, I, I never understood what it's going to do if you get made fun of. Oh well, you know? It's just these people that are too scared to do it themselves. So they hate on people that actually do it because they're scared that it's going to work out for them. So just do it, man. Just do it. If you're wanting to make content, you know, do something a little bit different to what other people are doing, you know, down where I live, no, you don't see anyone walking around talking to a camera. But I mean, if you want to do it, just do it, right? Do stuff that other people are too afraid to do, or you know, it's class as cringe, or you know, whatever those stupid things are. Just do it, man. Because you never know, it could go somewhere great. One thing that has been really good at the moment is my stamina. I'm able to go multiple rounds without gassing, which is really a good you know, coming up to my fight. You know, setting different tempos and different paces from fast to slow, fast to slow in my running is really what's done it. You know, when you're running, if you're running for training for boxing, don't just go at the same pace, run a certain amount of kilometers or miles at a certain pace, then up it, then lower it, then up it, because that's what you do in a ring, right? In a ring, you're never always just fighting at one pace, right? You're speeding it up, you're slowing it down, you're speeding it up, you're slowing it down, and that's how you should train when you run as well. That's what's really going to improve you in the ring, in boxing. That's what's really going to improve your stamina. It's going to improve a lot quicker. When I started training like that, my stamina shot up, especially in the ring. Yeah, a little tip. It does work, trust me. I'm probably going to cut now. I'll see you guys when I get to the gym. Yeah, we'll get into some training. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, so I just got down here. But while I was walking here, I'm walking past so many people that are already like getting drunk and, you know, partying or whatever. And I'm walking past these people, like, what are you celebrating? Like, when people go out on, like, a Friday night or a Saturday, you know, and they're all drinking and getting drunk and all of this, I just never understood that kind of lifestyle where it's like, oh, we're going to work through the week, and then once we get to the weekend, we get to party, relax, and just get drunk. Just, I never understood it, how you can be, like, just happy with yourself doing that. I was also thinking, like, even when I make it, like, to where I want to be in life, I've done everything that I want to do in my life, and I've been successful, I still would never see myself partying, getting drunk and getting wasted and doing all of this stuff. Cause it's just not me, right? I just, I don't see the fun in it, to be honest. I think for me, I would just take that time to relax, you know, be chill, be sober, be in my own mind, you know? Anyway, I actually forgot to bring my, my gloves, my new ones with me. I was, I wanted to use them when I, like down here on the bag, but I forgot my gloves, so it's unfortunate, but. It is what it is, I guess. We'll just be using the regular bag gloves. So I'm gonna start training. Yeah, let's get into it. There's something about loneliness that is just so like, almost comforting to me in a way. I love my own company. I love being able to just be alone and get what needs to be done, done. 
Like a lot of people feel lonely and think that's a bad thing. But for me, I, I kind of welcome it. I kind of prefer it, you know? It's more chill. I don't have to worry about anything or anyone. Because it's just me. I'm always just doing the same thing over and over again. And that, I love it. I love it. I love the, the process. And I think I just love my own solitude. Like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I do like being alone. Obviously, we all get lonely and wish we had some company, but when I don't have that comfort, that's what also keeps me going. So I feel like if I had that comfort of having someone, it would slow me down, it would stop me from pushing so hard. So I think it's better to stay on my own. I get more done and I feel like it's just better for me. <sighs> My camera is on low charge. I literally charged it before I left. My hair, yeah, it's not looking good. Hopefully it doesn't die before I end this video, but if it does, I have to end up my phone. Or until I get home anyway. I always forget to bring my charger with me. We don't have long anyway. I got here really late. So, is what it is, I guess. I feel trash today, man. Don't know what it is. I love this place, man. When I'm just down here, and it's just me in this bag. Good therapy session, it really is. Whatever, you know, whatever's going on outside, you know, in my daily life, or you know, anything that's troubling me, when I come down here, it all goes away, all of it. And it's just me in the bag, and I'm just focused. My mind's set on training, on improving, such a nice feeling, man. And just having a space to myself, something different. It really is something different. So, pretty much all the time we've got down here. I got here pretty late, so I was only able to stay down here for about an hour, 40 minutes, something like that, not ideal, but I'm not ending the video here, because we've got to get home and we have a cold plunge to do, so yeah, i got to get home, so I'll see you when I'm there. Alright, another day complete. 
I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to end things off. I've still got to go eat and read my scriptures as well. And it is, uh, it's quite late. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something. I know there wasn't really much in it content wise, but uh, it was just me trading today. I'll try and get another video up uh, next week. If you want to see any type of content, if you want to learn anything, you know, anything you want to see on this channel, just let me know in the comments and um, I'll look into it. I'll try, you know, get it done. But yeah, I'm going to leave things here. So I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll go end this video so I can go edit it and get it up for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a bit.